Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you my fall favorites from 2020. I have several things here in no particular order. I'm just going to show you. They're things that I have bought during the fall season that I really, really like and I thought I would share with you. Here we go. So first, I have this candle. It's a Yankee candle. It is Forbidden Apple. I peeled the label off because I liked the jar just as it is. Um, I love the lid. This came from my friend Aloha Laura. She's a YouTuber here. Please go check out her channel and subscribe. Um, what I've really enjoyed about this is the smell and as you burn it, the more you burn it, a hidden message inside starts to show up. I don't know if you can see that, but here's what it says. It says, deep into that darkness, peering, Long, I stood there wondering, fearing Edgar Allan Poe. I thought that was pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do is once the candle is burned down, I'm going to clean it out really, really good and use it as a jar to store, I don't know, something. Maybe buttons or something in my sewing area. I think that'd be cute. I love it. Next, this is also from Aloha Laura. It's the Multnomah Fall Scented uh, Wax Melt from Washington Wicks Etsy Shop. It smells amazing. If you ever wondered what the Pacific Northwest smells like, this is perfection. This is it. Oh, yep. It just it has that, I don't know, lush pine smell and rain. and I, I can't even begin to explain it. It is just spot on. I love Multnomah Falls, one of my favorite places to go. Unfortunately, we haven't really gone there much at all this year, if at all. We're going to have to change that. My favorite time to go to Multnomah Falls is this time of year, so I I'm going to make a note of that and hopefully we can get there before the year is over. It's been kind of weird. They had it closed off to where you couldn't get to it because of, you know, the way this year is. Nah. Okay. Whew. Another candle. This tin. This came from my friend Cricket. She handmade this and it's a pomegranate smell. God, pomegranate scent. It's pretty. I love it. Oh. Very nice. Um, we have a couple makeup items. These are both from the uh, KV... KVD. I just had a brain fart. Sorry. <laughs> Kat Von D. KVD brand. Um, this is the Metal Crush Highlighter in the color Rose Shock. I never used a highlighter until recently. I bought this because it was on sale for $5 and I wanted to try it out. I was thinking, well, $5, that's not bad. Let's buy it and give it a try. And I love it. It gives a nice highlighter glow, a little tiny, tiny bit of glitter. I don't know if you can see that with the light glaring. Oh, it is so, so pretty. It also makes a really nice eyeshadow. And then another one from the same line is the Everlasting, uh, I can't even read that. It's very faded. I think that says Glimmer Veil, Everlasting Glimmer Veil Lipstick. It's the color Wizard love this it's kind of a charcoal blackish gray with glitter in it it's really nice it goes on really nice and smooth and it stays on it's very long lasting we have a funko pop of kaylee fry from firefly she is my favorite character from firefly she's one that i cosplay pretty regular love this She's the mechanic on Serenity. A Harry Potter, Luna Lovegood, Ravenclaw inspired uh, scarf ornament that I made. Pete 3D printed the Luna glasses for me. I painted them. I crocheted the little tiny scarf, sewed it onto the glasses, put a little Deathly Hollows charm in there. 
and made it into an ornament. These are available in my Etsy shop if you are interested. I also have one that's a Gryffindor scarf with the Harry Potter glasses as well. They go great on your Christmas tree or year round. You can hang them from your rear view, or view mirror in your car or just anywhere because they don't really say Christmas on them. So it's perfect for the Harry Potter fan in your life. Ah, found this canister with paw prints on it and a lid. Oh, excuse me. Found this at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was super, super cute. Later this month, I'm going to be making some homemade dog cookies for Shorty, and I thought this would be absolutely perfect to store them in. And then year round later, I can use it to store other cookies or poop bags or whatever. I just, I thought it was super cute and was only a dollar, so why not? It's a great size. We have a necklace that came from Snappy Wizard Geek Accessories. This was in the package of stuff that was sent to me from Katrina of The Geekery. I had won a runner-up prize for the costume contest she was holding, and this was one of the items. It's a Luna Lovegood necklace. It's handmade. Hopefully you can see that okay. Thought that was so fun it's super cute and another thing that came in that same package from Katrina is this chocolate frog lip balm this is from the vendor serpent and flame this smells amazing it smells like chocolate and it goes on really nice uh, it has cocoa butter sunflower oil coconut oil it's a flower oil, a flavor oil. Very nice. It's handmade. Love that. All about supporting small businesses and handmade artists right now this time of year. Next, we have the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. This also came from my friend Aloha Laura. This is so much fun. I'm hoping to find some time. It probably won't happen this month, but maybe in January find some time to make something out of here. I don't know what yet. I'll just flip through it and stop on a page and that'll be what we make, I think. I think that'd be the best way to do it. It'd be a lot of fun. So it'll be a mystery. But I think this is really fun. Something to look forward to. One of my favorite horror, or horror, not horror, <laughs> horror movies is um, Friday the 13th. Jason Voorhees is my favorite villain, and I got the opportunity to meet, <clears throat> pardon me, Ari Lehman and Adrian King a few years back. I want to say it was like five or six years ago. I was doing uh, photo op photos at a convention, and they were both celebrities there, and I got the opportunity to hang out and meet with them and take pictures, and I, I got a picture with them. And then this year, when I went to Spirit Halloween Store, I found the Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake frame. And I was thinking, yeah, that's perfect for my photo op. I'm <clears throat> slowly losing my voice, I guess. Sorry about that. If I stop and clear my throat multiple times, I apologize. It is quite annoying, let me tell you. <sighs> Next. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> This is another Halloween item. It's the Mist Maker. I bought this for my little witch's pot that I had at Halloween that made this like look like the cauldron was bubbling and it has some lights and stuff. Really cool effect. Super cool. I have two different vitamins. These are both gummy vitamins that I bought through Sephora. This first one is called Better, Not Younger, Significant Other, Hair Fortifying Vitamins. So this for your hair to make your hair stronger and healthier. Um, here's what it says. It's important to have someone in your life who can pick you up and give you a boost for your hair. That significant other is these hair fortifying vitamins. 
Loaded with biotin, vitamins, and minerals, they are the proof that not all things that taste good are bad for you. Each bite strengthens your roots to promote healthy hair growth and unbeatable shine. Yeah, I have noticed my hair is a lot shinier. It's It feels better. It's easier to manage. It just feels overall more healthy when I take these. It's loaded with so many extra vitamins too, which I, I need to be taking more of, especially with all these sicknesses and flus and things going around. Uh, you want to boost up your immune system. Not that it's going to, you know, stop certain things, but you know, whatever. My next uh, gummy vitamin is also from Sephora. It's the Ollie Bedtime Beauty. It's a melatonin that helps you sleep. It's got a really, really great taste. Um, it's Plum Berry Blossom. So good. It definitely has helped. Uh, like I'll take it 30 minutes before going to bed. And it helps kind of calm me and relax me so that I get to bed or easier. Very nice. Next, we have this flashlight. It's a tripod. I thought that was super cool. Pete loves it. He wants to take it with him when he goes on work trips, which that's fine as long as he brings it back. The bottoms are magnetic, which are very helpful. You can separate each one to have three separate ones. I just like it as a tripod. I think this will be very handy when we're doing projects in the garage or if you have to go under the sink to fix things. This is great. Found this on a company called Country Door. Next, we have Sam from Trick or Our Treat. Found him at Spirit Halloween Store. I thought he was so cute. I had to have him. I love that he has the little sucker in his hand. His little trick or treat bag. Oh, he even has a little butt flap on his pajamas. Oh, adorable. We have a tiny little raincoat that I picked up at Petco for Shorty. We bought this right before we went to the beach. Oh, the beach. Because um, we weren't sure if it was going to be raining or not. Because there was supposed to be rain in the forecast. And then it ended up being a gorgeous weekend the whole time we were there. But I thought this was so cute. Love the color. It's got pocket here. So we could put like poop bags and it's got the little dispenser for the bags to come out of. It's got a zipper so her leash can come through if she's wearing it on her harness. Zips up. Adorable. That came from Petco. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> Another Halloween item is this t-shirt I found at Walmart for $5. I thought it was so cute. I love the bright orange pumpkin face. That's so fun. Another pumpkin thing. I did the pumpkin run, virtual run in October, and this was the hoodie that was sent to me. I love this. It's nice, stretchy, lightweight fabric. It's a gorgeous color. So much fun. Next, we have the condenser microphone bundle that was sent to me for a product review. I love it. It's so easy to put together and it's a great addition for my YouTube videos when I want to do voiceovers. It's going to be a very, very handy tool. I hope to do more voiceovers in the future and this will help me. And my last fall favorite would be our beach trip that we did when we went to the Tillamook, Oregon area. We stayed at Shelter Nook Tiny Homes. That was so much fun. I enjoyed those little homes, the little houses. I enjoyed the time on the bay watching the sunset, the full moon, when we went to Oceanside Beach and going through the Tunnel Beach. That was so incredible. Our little hike to 
the lighthouse. I can't remember the name of the lighthouse, but then there was also the octopus tree on that hike. And we went to Munson Creek Waterfall. Oh, so much fun. It was great. I hope you guys got a chance to see those videos back in um, November. We went Halloween weekend. It was so much fun. I can't wait to go back and do that again. Anyway, that is it for my fall favorites for 2020. I hope you enjoyed everything I shared with you. I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Thank you.